Hey everybody, today I'm going to look at Vutify and how we can use it in our project. So I'm going to go ahead and just like give a few examples of some of the components that Vutify has. If you don't know, that's a material design component framework for Vue.js. I'm not going to go through everything. There's so many things you can do with Vutify. It's pretty awesome. But uh, if you guys like these type of videos, let me know below. Uh, leave a comment for me. Please click that uh, like button and subscribe button. That helps me. So let's begin. So I have my Visual Studio code open here. I have just a, an empty HTML file, which you can see here. It's nothing in there. It's just completely empty. So I thought I would just, just start from scratch and start uh, working with Vue.js and Vutify. So if you guys have never done this, this is you can also, obviously, if you're using a, a build system like Vue CLI, Vue, Vutify is really easy to install. It's just npm install and, and just a few things there. Uh, I'll go over that in a different video, but this one we're just, like I said, going to start from scratch. So inside, and by the way, stay all the way to the end if you can. Uh, it, uh, that really helps me out. I'll, uh, there might be a surprise. So let's see here. So I'm going to go ahead in my Visual Studio code here. I'm going to just start with a document here. And if you don't know Visual Studio code, you have Emmet, so you can really quickly start with um, kind of the boilerplate of an HTML code real easily and I'm gonna go copy and paste some scripts in so uh, let's see here so look we have right here we have the font uh, fonts from Google API's some families Roboto this is actually required uh, we have fonts for um, Vutify the minimum CSS files and then I'm just using um, some some CDNs for the Vue.js and for Vutify so I'll save it and then inside body we're going to create a script tag and then inside a script crab we're going to type new view this is how easy it is to start with view we're going to do el and this is our entry point to the app we're going to create something called app and i always like to make sure i have a data object here i'm going to return a data and call it hello or so we're going to put our first hello world and then inside body here i'm going to give, give a div tag and I'm going to include an ID of app and just make sure everything's working. I'm going to put this in and I'm going to put in hello. So we'll do, do a little string interpolation. You see really, really small hello world there. Uh, so we're going to, we want to put, we want to do some stuff with Vutify though. So uh, let's make sure it's working. So uh, by what we should do with any Vutify app is we need to start with some of these Vutify directives, uh, Vutify uh, components that is. So we're going to start it recommends in the official documentation. If you look inside here, the get started. You can see here in the layout screen, it will recommends that you always start with this V app. So we're going to go ahead and do that V app. And then after V app, we should always have do V content. And then after V content, we can set a v container so if we do h1 here and we'll move our hello over here instead of down here we'll save it and we'll look and we missed an empty bracket and we'll save it we can see hello world and you can see it's a little bit more stylized we have this these little gaps between here and the top because uh, we're using this v container here uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the grid system. So to do the grid system, we'll add some called V layout. And then inside our V layout, we can define some attributes. So we have a row here. Uh, we can do wrap too, so that will wrap it if it goes longer than the row's width. And it's just like bootstrap, foundation, anything else. We have a 12 column uh, layout system. So we can have 12 columns. Uh, we, uh, we use V flex in this case. And then we have kind of extra small, small, and then there's large and extra large. So just for the heck of it, we'll do extra small 12. And then for the VFlex, uh, there's a bunch of different uh, components that Vutify offers. One of them is called VCard. Uh, so we'll do VCard, VCard. And then those have some attributes. So we'll do a dark, we'll do color equals primary. And inside the V card, 
we're going to uh, use vcard text and then we can use cl uh, a class here and these are different uh, sizes so px0 is is a different size and we can just do 12 here so if we do all that you see here is our layout here with 12 uh, so we can obviously if we wanted to do half that we do six we refresh it you can see it's half six if we wanted to do I don't know let's say a, another row we could copy this and paste it and now we have two rows so we have two rows here uh, so yeah that, that's one way we can do it uh, let's go back here uh, one other thing we can do is this 12 here we can make two rows of this so to do that we can right here in our v flex we can do a v4 we can do i in two and we'll make this we'll refresh it here you can see here there's two of them now now if we wanted to do uh, some spacing on this there is a way to do spacing so if we go back to our grid breakout there's grid lists and in our grid list you can see here we can add some spacing here and we can add that to the V container so if I do this grid list SM small I go back here you can see here now it added a little bit of space in between here so there's a lot of different uh, attributes that you can add to your to your grid system here um, but let's take let's uh, let's move on let's take a look at a few other things so I'm going to I'm going to delete this layout here well we'll leave the layout why not and then below the hello we're going to add in uh, let's take a look alert so there's something called V alert and we'll do type equals success and then we have to set a value to it so we can set it to true and we have to have a value high so if we do that you can see here here's our alert for green for success but there's also I'll move this over so you can see it you can also do info and that's like blue um, there's just all uh, there's like three or four of them in there I believe there's error error and then there's also inf uh, warning so do that you see just different colors there uh, we have tons of buttons so we can do V button I'm gonna try this out color equals success and we'll call it high so here's our button for success kind of looks nice has a little animation on there we can certainly do a button for error. Let's imagine it's red. All right, let's go ahead and add a toolbar. So we can go V toolbar. And inside the toolbar, let's, uh, there's actually icons we can add for it. This is side icons like the hamburger menu. You guys are familiar with that? We can add a title to this. So V toolbar title. And we'll call it just hi, hi Eric and we can also add spacers to it so if we refresh it you can see there's a hi eric see the little hamburger button or or line button so that's uh that's a few things you can do with with beautify if you guys like this video i'll make another one i can show you guys more stuff that you can do with with view defy uh it's really awesome thank you for watching uh, if you like these type of videos, leave a comment below. Let me know if you want me to go over more of Beautify and all the different things you can do. As you can see there, it's just been a few minutes. I was able to create a whole bunch of different uh, icons and things like that. Uh, let me know what you think.